Hello, this is Will Cole 100 returning once again with Sins of the Solar Empire. Uh, between episodes, I actually just realized that every time I'm starting or stopping a recording, I am actually raising the bounty on one of our enemies, which is maybe not ideal, but that's okay. Where, where, which capital ship has shields down? Why are they complaining about it? Oh, this this one's probably yeah. TDN Nostra says it shields down. Good thing I... What are these guys to engage? Chase off that capital class ship. Oh, there's a capital class ship. Uh, forget about the pirates. Engage the capital class ship. Logistics up everywhere, just do a quick quick double check. I can improve it here, but at least I'm not costing any more money here. What am I short? I'm short metal and crystal. Metal and crystal. Need more metal and crystal. Probably because someone's knocking my mines out everywhere. Yeah. The poke, 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 killing my mines. Two on one with these capital ships should be enough to get them to run away. Which is, I suppose, one of the advantages of having multiple capital ships going around with each other. So the combined firepower is usually enough to chase off another capital ship. Those researches are done, so now I just need the resources to build that Titan ship, which is almost 10,000 credits. Okay, so they, they booked it. I was paying more attention. I would have known which way they booked it in, but it's okay not knowing. Are you going to book it? Probably. Where do I want to move this fleet? I probably don't want to leave them there. I want to move them somewhere. If I move them back to the home system, it's probably best. Meet up with that uh, capital ship when it comes out. Again, this is a scout vessel. I'm trying to remember which, which types are which. Uh, colony frigate. Okay, not the best, but not the worst. Okay, so they they booked it and ran. Let's get back to this this center system. The Titan ship. I could probably just make a beeline for one of their their capitals and remove them from the game. That'd be bit on the gamey side. Well, that'd just be the way to make this game nice, short, and sweet. So there's one of their capital ships. Don't know what happened to the blue one. Oh, so that planet's actually under active attack. I should, uh, should reposition to it, because it's going to go up. And it would be best if I could take it back quickly. Instead of leaving it down. Yeah, how was that uh, asteroid going? I 
and sea trickets and prairie vessels. Okay. Where do I design my stuff? Send it over here as I guess the sea triggets. Some of them go that way. I don't really need two ca or I don't really need four cavalry ships to respond to a planet where I don't have anything, which means they're probably not gonna continue to engage engage the cavalry ship over that way. In fact, if we can chase off their capital ship again, that'd be ideal. Should be coming up close on that Titan ship. Yes, yeah, so we have extra extra crystals. Let's move the crystals. There we go. Titan ship moving. Let's actually get you back to the main system. We'll warm you up with a Titan ship on this desert planet, and then we'll uh, move back to the center system. Now let's just go get our planet back. And then, what do I want to do for as far as a fleet expansion? Two more cavalry ships, get another front line, get a proper front, front line cavalry ship for each fleet. Might be an idea. Very effective idea. Are you still here? Well, wow, I'll just have to chase you off. Good thing I sent them that way. These guys got a long rotation around that sun to get back home. Five hundred metal, eight hundred twenty-five crystal. Really expensive in the metal and crystal department. That is two more capital ships I can have though if I do it, so it's not that bad. Bounty against me went up. So it hasn't been a half bad thing that every time I uh, stop and start the recording that I'm adding 250 bounty to this person. No, part, parts, kill the per kill the pink person. Go go kill the heretics parts. That, that's your job. It looks like I'm going to be running around doing whack-a-mole. Keep blowing up my pilots, I have to keep putting them back. As soon as it gets in range, should be right about there. Okay. Let's take these guys, send them over there, take this planet, get the infrastructure back up again. Those are built automatically. They're nice, nice, nice. Damn, I'm able to take out the planet. In fact, those are the allies. Why would I be worried about them taking out the planet? They won't do that. The allies aren't that mean. Okay, there's our prerequisites for our capital ship. How far are we with that Titan ship? About halfway. Okay. Calm 
contemplating maybe digging in a few of these planets so that I can actually get there in time to respond before these siege frigates siege up upon it. Well, that's a lot of money that I'd be dumping on a planet that if I fail to get there in time anyway would still be gone. So I think I'm going to be a bit lazy and save up for those two extra capital ships. And probably after that I might actually start building some frigates. I think three capital ships in a fleet's enough. Let's give you a rally point in our main system over here. I'm going to wait until our fleet gets back over there. It's only one system away before I can recolonize it. Actually, if any of them are worth building it on, it's probably this desert one. So I don't have to worry about those having to get that population back again. Uh, doubling its popular, or doubling its uh, defensiveness is at least a good start. Come over here and start getting a capital ships rolling off the line. Let's get our front line, front line capital ship. Let's grab a coal. Go with the coal or Marsna. Uh, yeah, I probably don't need to siege planets that heavily, so let's just stick with the coal. You know, and actually, technically, I don't have the supply yet for it to be built. Why it's letting me run with the negative two supply, I don't know, but it is. It is. At least it's in queue. Queue up the second one. And they're here trying to... Why are you maneuvering like you are? It's not an enemy ship. Stop trying to target target the friendly ship. How close are we to done? Almost. Focus on the colony ship. That's mine. Mine. It's gonna get there first. I just know it. <laughs> yeah, it just got in range. Blow it up so I can colonize it. Oh, there's the siege figure shooting one of my planets again. Or actually, maybe not shooting one of my planets. Maybe it's still moving. But there's the there's the Titan ship. Let's just take these guys and take that planet. Well, let's fortify the uh, superstructure right away, and. Take group shield. Make it nice and defensive to start with. Over to you. Let's give you a bit of flak burst so we can take out the enemy aircraft a bit better. And these guys can move. I have a f third capital ship here. Should be off the line soon. And then I can send it to uh, help with these guys over here. I'm trying to hopefully zone these guys off of my planets. Thank you for returning the colony to my hands. And by returning it, I mean thank you for dying so that you're not holding on to it anymore. Now, let's move this, this fleet over here and chase off those siege frigates. Here's the newest coal ship. Uh, instead of sending you straight to that fleet, I'm going to send you to the desert planet. That way I can have them meet up after they're, they're done with their respective jobs. Well, uh, it's a good thing I sent this ship, this fleet here. They were just about to take my desert planet. I guess I don't need to clear it out myself. I got a drone host and they got a capital ship. 
four capital ships versus one capital ship should win, especially seeing as one of the capital ships is a Titan class ship. Let's get some upgrades. That that situation's gonna go fine. How's the situation going? Oh, Siege frigate's running away because I showed up. Somewhat as expected. So we move to the dwarf planet, which is where it looks like they're all going. And they're all going to that ice planet. Oh well. Yeah, we're we're gonna win and we're gonna knock out one of the enemy capital clash or capital ships. Level five one too. Once we get rid of that, we'll see if we can knock out the drone hosts. In fact, because all I've got is capital ships and all I got is capital ships and strike craft. Really, the capital ships and drone hosts are the only thing I need to be really worried about, because the only things that can do a lot of damage to me. Strike crafts have an advantage against actual capital ships. So that goes up their capital ship. Didn't I... Oh, you still went to the desert planet anyway. Oh, and you're taking a really, really dangerous route around. Adaptive force field. It's maybe not quite as useful as it would be on other maps. Okay, let's grab this planet, and then we can move on. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this video a little on the early side, because I need to use a bio break. Uh, we're coming up in 18 minutes, so it's not going to be that much shorter than usual. I am Wilcole 100 If you like this episode and want to see more, please subscribe to the channel. There will hopefully be more. If there's anything you want to see in particular, or anything you want me to do differently in later recordings, please leave a comment. Until next time, this is Wilcole 100